Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back for week 10 of the NPL, the final week of the regular season. This week we are battling Matty Brolic and his Los Angeles Reshiram. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I've known about Matty for quite a while. Uh, he was in the GOT season 2 with us. Uh, I believe he came third if I'm not mistaken. And uh, in uh, Jolt and Shoddy's original uh, top 30 draft league players of uh, Gen 6, I believe he was top 5. He could have been fourth if I'm not mistaken, fifth or fourth, somewhere there, but uh, he was pretty highly ranked and uh, Jolt gave him a lot of praise as somebody that uh, that builds very effectively and uh, he doesn't draft the best and that's uh, that's something that I've heard a lot of comments from uh, from a lot of people, but I disagree. I think Matty drafts to his style and he knows how to play. He knows how to, he's been playing since like Gen 4, Gen 5. I believe it was Gen 5, and he's uh, he's a phenomenal player. Uh, but this week, uh, we're not being serious against Matty. Uh, I did mention this about prior two weeks. But uh, because I'm already in playoffs and because Matty's record is plus 2 and mine's plus 16, there's no way he can pass me in the standings. The only person that I believe can pass me is Rob, and he would need to beat Gypsy by a pretty decent margin as well. So also, uh, not, not impossible, but also unlikely. Uh, Gypsy, even on his losses, he keeps his games close. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, uh, we're bringing a pretty meme team this week. Uh, so as you can see, we have a level 75 diggers beyond the screen. So uh, this is actually designed to, uh, you see my IVs in, uh, in my HP, my defense, and my SPDF are all zero. Uh, this thing was uh, designed to be brought down to its sash and get off an endeavor real quick. Uh, essentially, uh, anti-Azelf lead, anti-Titar lead, things like that. Uh, anything that can bring me down to my sash and I can get an endeavor off on. Uh, even things like Celesteela, for example, if it decides not to leash seed on turn one, do a lot. Uh, I made sure it was level 75 because foul play uh, attack. Um, when you when you attack in the damage calculation, your level is factored in, um, and so foul play's damage gets reduced the lower level you go. I tried to make it level 20, which was the min you can have diggers be at, and uh, that wasn't doing the trick. So I needed uh, I needed a little bit of a stronger foul play, uh, specifically for things like his Delmize and his uh, his Azelf as well as his Latios, so all of the things that take super effective damage from the foul play, or just take a lot in general, like Azelf and um, Masharna does take a, a decent chunk, uh, even Mimikyu, for example, so uh, I wanted to be able to, to, to hit those, uh, Endeavor and Quick Attack, obviously be able to, to pick off anything, it's basically Fear Diggersby, and then Spikes, because his team does not appreciate Spikes outside of his Levitators, and, uh, or his things off the ground in Celesteela, Latios, and Azelf, uh, everything else really doesn't like Spikes, so that's the idea there. Um, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty standard lead set. Uh, nothing much to say about it, honestly. Uh, that's about it. Moving on, we are bringing uh, Hotwiler, our Houndoom, for the first time uh, this season. Another Focus Ashmon. <laughs> I have three of them on this team, you guys are going to see. Uh, so we have uh, Destiny Bond, Reversal, Will-O-Wisp, and Pursuit. So, idea here is, uh, if he brings me down to my Sash uh, against his T-Tar without the Sand Up, right? I can Reversal it and knock it out. Uh, I should outspeed it. In theory, he shouldn't want to run more speed uh, than this. Uh, and the HP investment, I can't remember exactly what it was for. But anyway, uh, I have Pursuit on there again for his Latios, his, uh, his Delmize, Azelf, Masharna, all of the ones that take Super Effective from Dark. Uh, and we have Will-O-Wisp on there to be able to chip things, uh, get a burn off on Mimikyu, for example, or Celesteela, which heavily hinders it. Um, pretty much anything on his team, really. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty good move. Uh, also against uh, Titar, obviously I'm max, uh, uh, I'm full level, I'm level 100, so uh, getting off a Will-O-Wisp on Titar is always nice. That way, if he pursuits me, it's not doing a crap ton. Uh, even though I am a, a dark type, you see that defense stat. Ugh, ugh, <laughs> that's, it's pretty nasty. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's Houndoom. Also, a nerve helps with, uh, with Cobra Berries uh, on my pursuit and stuff like that, so it's always nice. Moving on, we have Captain Crunch. This is where the team gets really offensive here. So we have a Life Orb, Wild Charge, Brave Bird, Iron Head, Quick Attack. So this is basically Kill Yourself Coco uh, right here. Uh, it's designed to just, like, destroy itself. Uh, <laughs> I have a Life Orb, I have Recoil Moves, and I purposely invested nothing in HP so that I could take as much damage as possible every time I went for a Recoil Move. Uh, Iron Head is on there for the, uh, for the Mimikyu uh, potential flinch. Uh, Wild Charge hits pretty much everything except for the Latios uh, and the Nido King. Uh, Brave Bird's gonna hit the Nido Queen, uh, Nido King quite hard anyway. And then we have Quick Attack on there to pick things off. Essentially, what I what I tried to do when I designed this team, 
I actually made this team before I ended up playing uh, Dallas, and I told myself if I lose by a large margin to Dallas, all I want to do against Maddie is pick back up some differentials so that he can't pass me. I want to stay ahead of him. So I'm going to run Quick Attack on multiple Mons, and as you can see, Diggersby and uh, Coco have both have Quick Attack. And I'm also going to run Pursuit on multiple Mons. I'm going to skip to the fifth Mon on the team, which is Aerodactyl. As you're going to see, this is the one serious Mon on the team. Uh, as much as I invested in uh, all of my, uh, my attack and speed, the reason I went max speed, uh, or nearly max speed, was to cover his... Um, his Mega Titar, if it goes for a Dragon Dance, if it only decides to... Actually, I think I outspeed any variant uh, of Dragon Dance Titar, so I can get off an Earthquake on that thing. Pursuit picks off, Choice Locked, Latios, uh, Weakened Nidoking, for example, um, Delmise, Azelf, all of those guys. I'm just trying to, to weasel back some differential. I'm not trying to win this game, essentially. I, I don't care about winning. Um, I just want differential out of it. Uh, Aerial Ace uh, gets nice damage off on uh, Delmise, Keldeo specifically. Uh, things like that. It's just a nice neutral move. And then Stealth Rocks are obviously going to be really nice for uh, clearing things out, getting rid of Sashes, make sure that Diggersby can do what it needs to do, uh, even though it is a lead. Uh, and Houndoom as well with Pursuiting and whatnot. And then uh, once Rocks are up, Coco goes crazy. So hopping back to the fourth Mon on the team, I decided to run yet another Life Orb. Double Life Orb on an Aster J team. Somebody pinch me. <laughs> this isn't happening. Uh, we've got Foul Play, Giga Drain, Clear Smog, Nature Power. So... Uh, regen, uh, obviously, and a max special attack modest. Like, this actually does a lot of work to his team. Uh, Celesteela takes, like, 60. Uh, if it comes in on nature power while electric terrain is up, so it gets to it KO'd very easily. Uh, Latios doesn't appreciate, uh, life orb foul play. Uh, Giga Drain is there for pretty much everything that, uh, isn't weak to dark, uh, i.e. foul play. And then clear smog is to make sure that, uh, his, uh, for example, his Licky Licky can't set up curses. I believe it does get curse. Uh, things like that. And his Masharna can't, uh, can't call mind, uh, all the way up. Uh, Mimikyu can't swords dance, uh, behind, uh, its disguise and stuff like that. So, pretty straightforward. Uh, not much to say about, uh, about this Among Us, honestly. It's, uh, it's pretty ridiculous. It's just max HP, max special attack. Uh, should have made it minus speed as well for Trick Room, just in case. But, uh, anyway. Uh, moving on. Last Mon on the team. As I said, I have another Focus Sash. We have... Cloyster, um, I'm gonna be honest, I popped on Skill Link here, <laughs> because it wasn't originally Skill Link during the game, <laughs> I was Shell Armor, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that was my bad, but, uh, I'm running Ice Skull Spear, Explosion, uh, Rapid Spin, and Shell Smash, so, uh, I deal with, this was the last one I, I popped on the team, I was like, okay, I don't want him getting up a ton of hazards on me either, uh, Needle King's a problem, it can set up T-Spikes, and Azelf has a pretty free early game rocking matchup, um, again, especially against something like my Diggersby, so I'm going to, uh, to make sure that I have a spinner on the team. Uh, I didn't want to put Defog on Arrow, so I was like, okay, I, I, can, I can spin pretty freely with Cloyster. Uh, I also ran 260 speed on this, and I believe Houndoom, uh, Houndoom's 261, uh, but I thought 260 was enough here. Uh, just because of after a Shell Smash, I believe I outspeed, uh, the Latios that I expect him to bring if he's Scarfed. Um, and as well as pretty much any other Scarfer, as well as Keldeo, uh, things like that. I think it was specifically Keldeo that I wanted to outspeed at plus two. That's why I went to 260. So I get off a Shell Smash, I can choose to Rapid Spin on the following turn. Uh, Ice Skull Spear breaks through Mimikyu, uh, if I'm Skill Link like I'm supposed to be. Uh, and then Explosion just blows Keldeo back. Uh, th the idea with this set was clear the hazards because I have multiple Sashes. Uh, and I have things that don't want to take rocks, like my Life Orb Mons, uh, my Aerodactyl, uh, and especially my Houndoom, which is again a, a focused Sash Mon. So, yeah, there's uh, there's not a lot to say about this team, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, but I, I built it on a whim and... Uh, uh, I thought it could actually perform well in the matchup. I had a mock, uh, a mock or two, uh, and I, that was it was just to try the team just to see how, how fun it was, and uh, it actually ended up performing pretty well. So let's hop into the game. We see Maddie brings uh, no Celesteela, which inclines me to believe that he built this team with the idea in mind, the same idea that I had. I'm in playoffs. All I need is differential. Uh, and Celesteela isn't a Mon that really promotes gaining Differential necessarily, it kind of just sits there, unless it's of course a Sweeper set. But the look of the team made me think, okay, he's trying to go for Differential as well, because I'm really, really um, convinced that Celesteela would have come against me if it wasn't for, uh, for this being the final game of the season. So, uh, we'll see. If we end up playing in playoffs, we'll see what happens. But uh, anyway, I see the matchup, and I'm like, okay, well, Diggersby has a pretty safe lead matchup here, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to lead off with Diggersby, and uh, we're going to see how that goes. So 
Uh, let's uh, let's get into the game. Uh, lead off with Diggersby. He leads off with Titar. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm a ground type. I don't get chipped. My focus ash is intact. I'm just gonna go for spikes. Uh, get them up for the Keldeo, the uh, the Masharna, and the Nido King, as well as this Titar if it decides to switch out. He goes for Earthquake, and I actually end up being faster than his Titar, which is quite nice because I can get off an Endeavor right here, uh, uncontested. And uh, he goes for Pursuit. Now uh, I also noticed that he didn't bring either of his ghosts, Mimikyu or. Um, or his Delmise, so I'm thinking, okay, this is a pretty free spin for me with Cloyster. Uh, he's gonna get out of here, actually, he's gonna go into his Latios, and I'm gonna go for the Rapid Spin. Now, obviously, Default can come out, but I'm just gonna go for an Icicle Spear. Uh, Matty ends up going for Draco and missing, and I do get three hits on Icicle Spear despite not being a uh, Skill Link, uh, and I end up taking out the Latios, so that very unfortunate for him there, right there. Uh, he's gonna go into Nido King. he's gonna fire off a T-Bolt, um, like, okay, that's fine. I think my best play here uh, is to go into Arrow and just Earthquake, because if he's Scarfed, he doesn't knock me out. If he's Life Orb, he's not faster than me. If he's Shook a Berry, once again, then that means he's not Life Orb and he's not knocking me out. So I can go for EQ into Pursuit and take him out. So uh, he's going to go for... Uh for a Thunderbolt, he does reveal to be Scarfed, uh, and I'm gonna go for the Earthquake. That pretty much tells me that uh, the rest of his mons are unlikely to be Scarfed, but it's not necessarily the case, because he does bring in his Keldeo here, uh, and I get scared out, and I'm like, okay, I'm going into uh, to Amoongus here. And uh, I just need one more differential point, so I'm just gonna start firing off Giga Drains here. He brings in his Masharna, I see how much it does. Nice chunk, uh, 34%, but I don't wanna stay in here. I have a pretty safe switch in uh, to this thing in Houndoom, uh, and he's gonna go for the Moonlight, uh, and I'm just going to click Will-O-Wisp on this turn as he sacks off his T-Tar. Um, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's absolutely perfect. He's going to go into his Keldeo. Once again, I don't want my Sash to be broken necessarily right away. So I'm going to switch out into my safest switch being uh, my Amoongus. He goes back into Masharna and I'm going to go right back into Houndoom. Uh, pretty safe play for me every single time. He's going to go for a Calm Mind. I'm like, okay, I'm pretty convinced this thing has nothing to hit me. So this is actually going to work out really well. I'm going to click Will-O-Wisp. I'm going to, uh, to be immune, of course, to the Synchronize uh, thanks to uh, being a Fire type. And uh, having flash fire as well. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a. I'm, I'm a nerve. Never mind. It's the fire typing. Uh, now I'm going to start spamming pursuit. I know that he can go for baton pass and completely avoid my pursuit. Uh, and I know that he can pass these stats into either one of his mons. But I'm going to keep spamming pursuit. I'm going to run him out of moonlights so that he can't do this again. And the burn is really helping with that because I'm getting off a consistent 30% on him every turn. And that means every second turn he absolutely has to go for moonlight. Uh, or else he's going to be two hit KO'd. Uh, and there are even turns where he has to go uh, for Moonlight twice in a row like he just did, because he doesn't want to risk a crit. So I'm going to keep going for the uh, the Pursuit. He's going to keep uh, Calm Minding up. He's essentially going to get up to f uh, max Calm Minds, plus four, plus four. And uh, then he's going to uh, pull the trigger, and he's going to go for a Baton Pass. Uh, but I'm just here spamming Pursuit. I still have my Focus Sash intact. I'm fine. Uh, and uh, I keep clicking Pursuit, uh, he keeps clicking Calm Mind, all good. A very monotonous part of the game right here. And uh, there's not much to say, I'm, I'm just clicking the same move over and over again. Uh, but I know what's about to happen, I, I have it clear... A uh, clear image in my mind of what he's about to do. He does pa pass out the baton pass, not on plus four, plus four, but on plus five, plus five. And he brings in Azelf, and I'm like, there's no way this thing has any kind of status move. <laughs> there's just no way. In my head, I'm like, okay, his T-Tar was the rocker. This is like four attacks, Azelf, and he was planning to pass to it uh, with a bunch of calm mines. So I'm just going to go for the Destiny Bond on this turn as he goes to the Signal Beam. Luckily, no confusion, and I'm going to get the Destiny Bond off, and uh, he has to switch out his Azelf because he's forced to attack on the next turn, and he doesn't want to lose it. I click Pursuit, and I knock him out <laughs> and just get rid of the Azelf. He's going to go into Keldeo. Uh, I'm not going to preserve Differential here because I already have enough. And uh, he's going to knock out the uh, the Hound. I'm going to go back into Amoongus. I'm going to knock this thing out with a Life Orb Giga Drain. Go back up to full and then take 10. Uh, and then I'm like, okay, this is fine. Uh, he goes into Masharna. I actually go for the foul play here and it doesn't knock him out with burn, which I was a little bit surprised about. Uh, but uh, obviously Masharna has like min attack right now. Uh, and I know that uh, that either Arrow or uh, Coco can finish this game because I believe he's out of Moonlights at this point or he only has one. Uh, and I know that a Psychic probably won't knock me out even with a crit. Uh, so I go into Coco and I reveal the quick attack <laughs> and knock out his Masharna. So really just a Mimi game. Uh, obviously Maddie was going for a differential. I was kind of doing the same. So... Uh, uh, I end up winning that game, but I don't. I, I'm not considering this a serious win, uh, just because of the uh, the nature of the team that I built, uh, and as well as the circumstances of our game. Uh, obviously, winning against Maddie is always nice. Uh, I'm sure that he tried to bring a team to absolutely destroy me. Uh, didn't end up working out because I brought a very gimmicky team. So. 
Uh, ended up working in my favor. We go up to a 7-3, uh, plus 19 differential before playoffs start. So uh, we do, in fact, end up in second place. Uh, you guys should go and check out the other games, see what went down, uh, if you want to know exactly who we're up against, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm about to spoil it right here, so if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe, make sure to do all that stuff down below, uh, and click off the video if you don't want to hear the spoilers, but we are taking on somebody that we lost, uh, to in regular season, and that is Greg. Uh, we're playing Greg, and Greg, uh, has that scary, scary Zardex, uh, Lando T, Gardevoir, Celebi, Scizor, uh, so many threats. Uh, I'm just, I'm dying here, trying to, trying to build and trying to mock for this matchup. Uh, I've been looking for mocks left and right, and it's uh, uh, luckily Turbo and Chris uh, agreed to to mock for me, uh, and uh, I'm gonna be giving them mocks as well. So hopefully it turns out okay. Uh, I've got a good strategy in mind. I got a good game plan going into it. Uh, hopefully it pans out, uh, but we'll see. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy our regular season run in our first official season of the NPL, even though we've been here two other seasons, uh, if you did enjoy the way that we played, uh, the record that we came out with, uh, how we did, then definitely uh, make sure to leave a like for me. Let me know in the comments as well. Uh, I think it's a great bounce back from the GBA, the horrible season that we had there. Uh, I've also got a, gotten a much better understanding of the kind of team that I need to draft uh, to fit my mold, uh, the teams that I'm good with. So uh, I'm really glad uh, for this opportunity, this, uh, this, this time in the NPL. Uh, regardless, I will be here next season, that's for sure. Uh, definitely sticking around. And uh, hopefully we have most of the same coaches because I love these guys. Uh, really looking forward to playoffs. Hopefully we can get past quarters. Uh, my goal is uh, obviously semifinals at the very least. And if we can make it to the finals, that's just incredible already because I've never made it to finals before. I always got get knocked out early in playoffs. So... Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be it guys again uh, like comment and subscribe down below and I will catch you guys very soon. Ciao